전화 받으리는 빗방울들이 땅에 떨어지는 소리 전해지는 좋은 친구 대체 뭐야 너는 비법이 아침에 일어나서 부은 눈이 너무 아름다운 너희들도 조금만 조금만 더 너에게 바래 조금만 이제는 어디까지 보다 잤지 여기서부터 다시 보면 되겠지 틀어놓을 테니까 이 영화를 넌 보면 먹을 맥주 한 캔과 과자를 사 우린 하루 종일 뒹굴거리면서 다시 뒹굴거리고 또 입을 맞추면서 다시 입을 맞추네 또 다시 입을 안으로 들어가 따뜻한 장판에 몸을 녹여 따르타 Baby I love you Baby I need you 이렇게 무겁고 안 해도 좋은 걸 널왜 자꾸 밖에 나가고 싶어 좋은 것만 내게 보여주고 싶은 거 나도 와도 근데 나는 게더 좋은 걸 눈치 볼 필요도 없이 너를 만져도 되고 재밌는 영화도 보고 편해진 연애가 걱정이 된다면 말해 편한 일상 속에서 행복을 못 찾을 건 부질없는 짓이 Yeah, right now 난이 보배 같은 너의 눈에 진주를 찾아 손이 바래 속에서 연주 Yeah, 나를 넌 자꾸 다그쳐 이건 절대 게으름 피우는 게 아니라는 거야 무슨 말을 해도 핑계처럼 들릴 테니까 일단 Baby I love you Baby I need you 이렇게 아무것도 안 해도 좋은 걸 I can't leave you I can't leave you 널 버리고 내가 다채 어디를 가 괜히 걱정하지 않아도 돼 사실 여기 차원서 그래 Today I am finally bringing back a mukbang video for you guys. Oh my god. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, I, I try to make it like cinematic or whatever, but I'm not very good at it. Um, it was my first time trying it for a video. And then also I realized the layout, the setup I had didn't work very well for uh, this angle, so I kind of had to rearrange it. But um. <sighs> that was a lot of work. Um, I, like setting up for a hot pot is a lot of work, but trying to like make it look good on camera, that that was like, yeah. <laughs> um, it's almost two. I was trying to start set up at around like twelve, twelve thirty, and whatever. Uh, but anyways, I'm pleased to you know introduce to you guys my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> The Bruno hot plate. Uh, so this is one of their um, other plates. It's like a deep dish. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. But there's several different ones, and I bought this last time I was in Japan. And um, <laughs> yeah, they just have a lot of different plates, and uh, I really, really want to do. St <laughs> I really want to start doing mukbangs again for you guys. I really enjoyed them, but um, I guess I always end up only seeing the negative comments. Like, oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe if all you do is eat. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're trying to lose weight, but you're eating so much food and camera. Blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, I was here for beauty, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But then, obviously, I didn't notice the good comments, the positive comments that were like, I love this shit. You know, so um, I really wanted to bring it back. Um, I have so many mukbang plans. Like I, I, ever since I stopped doing them, like I, all I could think about was doing them again. And honestly, like if I can't produce videos that I enjoy or that like I'm proud of, like I mean, okay, <laughs> I don't know. How, it's kind of weird to be like I'm proud of myself eating on camera, but like. If I can't enjoy the content that I'm making, then it's very, like, ugh, you know? A lot of us YouTubers, we aren't experts. Like, let's say, like, in the beauty world, a lot of us aren't experts. We're just, like, passionate or we're really interested or we're really into it, right? 
And if I'm not into the thing that I'm doing, it's like, why the fuck are you watching me anyways? So, uh, ooh, this is getting really hot. Anyways, oof. let's set this, oh, okay, rip, rip my floor. Uh, okay. Let's just put it here then. You can't see it on camera. Alright, so what shall we cook first? Oh my god, okay. I love veggies. So, how have you guys been? Um, so, right now it is November 7th, I want to say. Yeah, November 7th. Um, I'm saying this because, um, obviously my videos are really backed up. I still need to do a lot of the, um, um, the Korean plastic surgery vlogs. <laughs> Um, I have a few unlisted already. It's just that I'm waiting for my graphics designer, Terry, to come back from a uh, vacation. No rush, really. Like, I love that, you know, there's someone <laughs> working with me, and I really appreciate her helping me uh, do thumbnails because, like, my thumbnails were shit. And it's not that I'm not capable of, like, making, like, a thumbnail. I am. It's just that I don't know, after editing a video, I don't really want to do a thumbnail, you know? And, like, it's really great that, um, I guess, like, she... I, okay, I don't know if she's just saying this to me, but, like, she says she's, like, getting experience, too, working with, like, a client. Sorry, my, my leg, my foot is itchy, and it looked like I was gonna, like, scratch my, my butt. Which is also okay, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so hot. Bangs and bangs and hot pot. Not a good combination. Anyways, yeah, she says like, oh, she's getting experience and stuff from it, but I don't know. Like, I I feel like it's such a great help to me, cause I guess I, I at first I was like, yeah, I'm a one man, one man uh. What's it called? One man army, but like honestly after a while it, it's really tiring and I really hope she is getting something out of it because she's like <laughs> it is I am benefiting so much from it and it's kind of so nice to sort of like work in a team, you know? Um Yeah. I think just from like past work experience, working with other people, like I think it's in those specific situations. Um, like at the dental office, like I worked with a lot of like high school girls and um, girls that basically just want drama all the time and I really thought that I hated working with people but I actually love 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 working in a team and um, yeah I feel like Terry really helped me like become a team and it's really nice. Um, yeah, also I feel like she... Take a shot every time I say like. I'm trying to like cut that habit out, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> um, but uh, I think it's great for that Terry does like the thumbnails because I feel that she can see things that I don't. Like from a viewer's perspective, from like a fresh uh, set of eyes perspective. Because after I edit like an entire video, it's like I don't really know what I should put in the thumbnail, you know, and um, a lot of the times it's just like screen captures from like the clips and I don't know. And it's really great that she kind of, we kind of work together on the thumbnails like, oh, do you like, she shows me, do you like this? I was like, oh yeah, can you change this color or can you use this image instead? And then we end up with like a really nice thumbnail that we're both really happy about. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful for Terry. I love you. I hope you're enjoying your Hawaii trip. So. Yeah, um, not, not like saying, oh, I'm not having videos out because my, my graphic designer's on, uh, um, holiday. Uh, no, it's not that. I'm also really bad. I've been really, really bad with, like, um, getting content out to her. Uh, just because I started school and I am really bad at time management. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how some YouTubers juggle school and YouTube at the same time and I really want to be able to do that and I'm not even like in a super serious program either. I didn't even start eating yet and the camera's dying. 
it's like overheating like crazy um oh food okay <laughs> so i have sliced pork oh which is so good um oh my god <laughs> so um the i think the instant noodle brand is called sam yang uh so this is the malat flavor and i really didn't like this um this sauce with the noodles like it just didn't work out but then i was like uh having i was having hot pot the other day or like a week or two ago and i was like you know this would be a really good hot sauce like a dip right and i tried it it is so good mm. oh god how do i do this So good. I feel like the camera is really far away. Oh, so spicy. I can't really eat spicy that well, but it's so good. Mmm. so it's a little bit closer to me maybe I'll bring it closer but I'll put it, I'll angle it higher like this a little bit higher I don't know but that's just mainly the food then right This angle is good though, for the food wise. If I just tuck these things back. I'm gonna tuck it back a little bit. Move this forward a little bit. Maybe you can get a little bit more of me. It sounds so like self-absorbed. Oh my God, I have to get the um the shot of me i mean if i can just do like asmr <laughs> oops like asmr ish you know like you don't really have to see my face i think that'll be cool too like like this all right you don't have to see all of the bruno right let's try this towards me Bruno can come back a little bit I'm scared it's gonna splash me that's what happened last time right okay let's try again okay you know what we'll go with this i think it's i think it's not bad you get to see the um the hot pot the bruno and all the stuff i have here and uh you're a bit closer to me so You can't really see my whole head. Maybe if I sit closer. Camera died. Okay. Um, it's to be expected. My camera is not really made to film for a long period of time, anyways. Uh, <laughs> some <Sama> bang. <laughs> 
It's 20 minutes in. Anyways. Oh, um, Korean fish cake. fish cake. Oof, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Here's the thing. I could get like those camcorders, like, you know, like the ones they use in pornos, but like, like those can clearly, <laughs> very obviously, um, film for a long period of time but you know I'm not really too into the quality so yeah I don't know like I would love to get a camera that can film longer if you guys know any like decent like um point and shoot DSLR hybrid that can shoot for a long period of time or a camcorder that like has decent quality when you film <laughs> let me know uh, so, yeah, I'm really, it's so going back to the whole school thing. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing, like, general studies. Um, it's a one-year program. It really is for me to just get a feel of school and see if it's something that I want to commit to. Um, if I feel like I'm, yeah, if I can handle it, basically, um, cause I don't know if I want to commit to school, right? Um, four year program, that's a lot of money and a lot of time. And if I commit to it, can I like do YouTube? Can I, you know, time manage everything? I'm, I'm not sure because I'm already doing a pretty bad job and it's not even a serious program. Oh. And you know, YouTube, to be honest, it's like it's not going well. <laughs> I have to do sponsors and I cannot not do sponsors or else like I can't do this full time. It would just have to go back to being like um like a hobby, which is fine, but then in that case then I would have to, you know, get a job. Which by the way um, if the school thing doesn't work out, like if I like university doesn't work out, I always have like a really great backup and dental hygienist. Uh, I can go do that. Or I can go find a um, internship that's in like social media, like marketing and stuff. So, you know, I, I did YouTube. <laughs> um, hopefully it's something that I can sort of transition into if I don't want to do dental hygiene or um, commit to school. But I'm really hoping that, you know, YouTube is something I can do long term, even as like a part time, you know, just to make money um, while I'm in school or something on the side. Like, I'm sorry, yes, I have to think about money. Uh, because, you know, need to pay bills, need to buy food, stuff like that, I need to support <laughs> myself, and uh, if I do YouTube full-time, then it has to be my main source of income, and if I'm not getting enough income, then, you know, that is when we start getting desperate for sponsors. I realized I didn't really show, like, my arms. Um... After my surgery, my liposuction. <sighs> At first I felt like there wasn't a big difference and um, I'll admit I feel like I started gaining weight. I don't know if it's just, you know, around like your period you just feel a little bit chunkier. So um, at one point it was the period thing and sometimes I'm not sure if it's not. So yeah, but I'm so so happy with my surgeries. Like. <sighs> Let's see how long this time it lasts. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's so bright.
Hey, much better. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really happy with my surgeries. A lot of people ask me, like, oh, aren't you happy with your looks before? Because they thought I looked pretty before, which, you know, thank you. <laughs> um, surgery was something I wanted regardless of YouTube. It's just that YouTube sped up that process for me. I got sponsored for surgery, the, the whole trip was covered for and everything and you know it is thank to you, thanks to you guys that I was able to have one of those like bucket list things completed um, when I'm still young and I don't know if um, you know like people are like oh you're so young uh, doing surgery so early I feel like if my nose and my arms were such a big insecurity for me. I'm not gonna grow into that insecurity when I'm older. Um, I was really insecure about them when I was younger and I kind of like accepted them. Like uh, for like a couple years now. And I felt like I've accepted them. <clears throat> the next step is to continue living with them or you know get rid of them so liposuction and um, my nose the other thing is like I did have a really intense like deviated septum um I noticed this when I worked at the dental office in high school um my boss told me that my face isn't centered or like my nose isn't centered because like we when we look at like your teeth like the two like front teeth like, we follow your center line, and he was like, yeah, your nose is, like, here, or something. And I looked in the mirror, and I'm like, wow, like, it's actually severely, like, it's like a hook shape. And I actually went to the doctors the other day, and they're like, I didn't even say anything to the nurses. They saw me. They're like, oh my god, you did your nose. Where did you get your nose done? Uh, can I get, like, the name? Uh, because they always noticed that I had, like, um, my nose was hooked. And I also brought up the David septum problem, like, many years ago, so... Yeah, they were just so happy for me. They're like, you can breathe now. I'm like, yeah. So it was really great. Um, the chin implant, I actually like it more than I thought I would. Um, just because, yeah, I, I never really noticed like I had a short chin. I always felt like something was missing, something odd about my face. But like, um, it made sense when the doctor was like, oh yeah, your, your chin's a bit short. And I'm like, oh. Makes sense. <laughs> um, obviously, there were other surgeries that I was not for, like uh, cutting my eyes and like doing the zygoma reduction. Like I know, like I I can pace myself. Like I know, I'm not like yes, change me, you know. Um, so I don't really think you guys need to worry about me getting too addicted to surgery. Like it's definitely like oh, you got your you you tested the waters, you dipped your foot in, and you're like oh, it's safe. Like, I am more open to the idea of getting surgery done now, now that I've had it and I know what it's like, so... I spent so much time talking. I'm not even eating. Oh, so I love, like, instant noodles. <laughs> um, in, as noodles. <laughs> it's so good, you know? Already making a mess. Yeah. Um, like... I, I didn't think... I never really thought I was pretty or gorgeous. Like, I, I feel like I'm not like a... Ooh, someone you would take a double take at. Like, maybe my boobs. Right? Like, I've gotten, like, double take on my boobs, yes, but not, like, for my face or whatever. Um, and that's not what I'm trying to get, like, achieve with surgery. But I really felt like my face was really, it was asymmetric. I wanted to be more symmetric. I wanted to be even. I wanted my face to make sense. And after surgery, it did make sense. But, um, uh, 
Um, also the other thing, I, yeah, <laughs> when I worked at the dental office, um, this really, really solidified my, um, opinions and views on, like, surgery, um, because, okay, let me get this seat straight. Um, because a lot of people who came in for braces, which is why I went in for braces, that's how I got my job, um, I wanted to look better. I didn't like the way my teeth looked. And a lot of people who came in, they wanted the, my boss to tell them that there was a medical reason for them to get braces, but there wasn't a medical reason. It's like, he's like, you want them for cosmetic reasons. <coughs> so, <laughs> a lot of men, um, a lot of males are like, no, no, uh, no, I, I don't want, like, cosmetic reasons, like, uh, blah, 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 <laughs> Um, and some guys were like, fuck, that's true. Yeah, I want to look better, give me braces. So, yeah, it's like nothing's wrong with your butt, you, you breathe through your nose, there's nothing wrong with, like, anything about your mouth. Like, yeah, your teeth are crooked, we can't fix it for you, but, like, you have to understand that. It's for cosmetic reasons, the reason you're doing it. So, and then, you know, teeth whitening and veneers and stuff like that. Like, if you want to look better, then look better. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> if it makes you feel better, then cool. You know, you don't have to feel like you're self-absorbed or it's like, it's like a um, narrow, m I don't know, like, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look better, is basically what I'm saying. And I know a lot of people feel like, because you're, like, going under, like, you're getting cut open, and you have to go through all this recovery, that it's a bigger deal, but if you're up for it, then cool, like. Makes me paranoid. And then we're gonna turn this down. Medium. So, uh, yeah, okay, I'll try to eat more, <laughs> talk less. And also, oh, about like the liposuction, it's not your solution to weight loss. It's, it's definitely something to help encourage you to keep fit or like lose weight. And I really love it uh, because before losing weight felt so pointless because of all the external fat, no matter how, how much I weigh, how skinny I was, I still looked fat because like the external fat here on my abdomen and on my arms because those are areas that you can see that are exposed regularly. So, well, I mean, not your stomach, but like it definitely shows through clothes. So it was really discouraging no matter how much I lost weight, no matter how I dieted. This is gonna be a long hot pot, but um, yeah, it didn't matter how much I dieted and whatever. It's like I still looked fat, so like, what's the point? And after I got um, the liposuction done, it well, first off, if it wasn't for the sponsor, it would have costed a lot, and I don't know if I would ever get another like plastic surgery sponsor again. So it's not like I can get I can just get liposuction done again. It's not like that. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I got the liposuction done. I look good. Everything looks proportionate. Um, 
and I want to maintain that and I want to look even better so it's really encouraging me to uh, eat better <laughs> eat better um, try to be more active stuff like that so it is like an expensive encouragement but um, being that nothing else really ever encouraged me because of the biggest obstacle of external fat um, I felt like it was worth it and honestly it is something I would have paid for and again it is I am just so lucky to have been able to have a sponsor thanks to you know um, YouTube and everything um, making it possible making it um, something I can cross off my bucket list early so now I can die young. <laughs> Ooh, I love these like baby Shanghai bok choys. They're so cute. The next mukbang I wanted to do was like a Korean curry. Oh my god, it's like this color. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. I really want to do KBBQ. With this, with the Bruno. I love the Bruno. I want to show you guys like more things to do with the Bruno. I really need to get a Bruno sponsorship because I freaking love this thing. Um, but it's because ever since I moved in with my mom to take care of her, she she refuses to move to like a bigger place. She's also a hoarder, so I don't have much room to work with. So I am filming this in my room right now, and I really, really don't like having like food smell in my clothes, in my bed, or anything in the place I'm supposed to be resting, but I do have to make sacrifices with my situation right now, so um, if I want to make this mukbang video, then I will have to probably deal with the food scent, the food smell in my clothes and stuff um, for the next day or two, maybe. Because the biggest obstacle now, obviously, is my living space and that's not something I can change in 10 seconds so I thought you know I just need to suck it up and just do it because I definitely want to do more like cooking mukbangs and everything I feel like that's really interesting I was like trying to ask Kimi like <laughs> what camera she uses but like she never replied and I get it um maybe you don't want to help other people like it's not really like you're being selfish or whatever it's just like you know like she went through all this trouble to research and do stuff on her own like why would you just give that information away I get it but yeah I definitely want to know what camera she uses <laughs> I don't know if she's made a video. I haven't watched her videos. I haven't watched YouTube videos in a while, but recently I have been getting really into Shane's, like, um, series. I used to watch his videos, like, 10 years ago, but, um, I guess after a while it just, um, I didn't watch them as much, and, um, I couldn't really get into the things he was talking about, but recently it was it's so fun and it is really true when he was talking about when he was um, introducing uh, Andrew. Mmm, I love this sauce. Makes everything so much better. Okay, I will dedicate maybe like. Two minutes just eating silently.
Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. I actually wish I had more pork, but it's okay. Warm's good. Maybe since I'm dumping all the food in, maybe we can change the angle of the uh, camera. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're closer. Uh, I had to take like a five minute break with the um camera just because it started running out of space because i i i <laughs> always get really nervous that like um my um my machine like uh my editing whatever i'm editing on like right now it's the macbook um but before it was my pc or my laptop that it would like crash and i would lose all my files i always get really paranoid so i would like keep all of my um video files until I'm completely done editing and I have no use for it anymore then yes yes I delete it but I had so much on my um my camera still that I wanted to keep so oops anyways now that we're like a little closer maybe I should have filmed at this angle I'm not sure but my bangs are definitely dying so Back to this, maybe? <laughs> it's like, boobs! But it's like, my shirt's like, uh, it's too short, so I want it like to cover like my stomach. <laughs> so I pull it down. I rather expose my boobs than my stomach. So, <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but. Hmm. 
crunchy. When you eat and you have bangs, you're basically eating, you're basically feeding your bangs too. <laughs> Just cause ah, they, you know, they get in the way. But they're definitely cute and I love them and I really hope that I can keep them for longer. <laughs> cause basically last time, once it grew out, I just didn't go back and get them trimmed. fish cake the Korean fish ball cakes this one is my favorite one and I always save it for last I always eat the other ones first before I eat this one mmm it's so good <laughs> yeah it's hot <laughs> looks sexual <laughs> maybe this angle is a little bit better because before I wanted like an angle where you could see everything but I don't know do you want to see everything God, you tell me you guys tell me which angle you guys like because this angle you definitely see more of me less of whatever I'm doing um, but obviously earlier I had everything like laid out, so I don't know if that's something you guys wanted to see. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Learning process, okay, you guys have to help me. I, I can't figure all this shit myself, um, because I don't know what you guys like. Or what you guys feel like is better. Right now I feel like this is a little bit better, but I definitely did like being able to show everything, but I don't know if you guys care to see everything. Ooh. And plus it's closer so I can like, uh, <laughs> touch my camera when it like, decides to shut down again. Which I feel like it's gonna shut down soon. Um, I was told, I don't know if it's true, but like, if you, um... You film with a camera that's not meant to record video, that it damages the sensor. I don't know who the fuck told me this. I really wish I remember, because I really need to ask them, like, were you just shitting me? <laughs> um... Because at one point I really thought it was true <laughs> because I really did feel like some of my cameras, like the more I filmed with them, uh, the more the camera quality like deteriorated. But like, I, I don't know, like, I feel like he was bullshitting me. I don't know if it's true. There's the overheating icon. Yeah, I feel like these mukbangs would be more pleasurable to watch and do. And my camera didn't keep dying. Oh, 
Um, hello. Hello? Hi. Wow, okay, I just got a call from my cousin uh, who was picking up my mom in Vietnam that she's not there. Like, she never got off the plane or something. Like, we don't know if she followed her friends back to their place. She's not picking up. Like, she's not on any of, like, the messaging apps that we have. Um, yeah, my cousin's been standing there for, like, three hours waiting for my mom trying to pick her up and... She's not there and I'm actually kind of worried and I don't know what to do. I tried like to get a hold of anyone who has her friend's numbers that are on the trip with my mom. But yeah, I don't know. It is concerning. I don't know what to do. My God. <laughs> I already didn't like trust her going on a trip. Oh my God. So I really hope she's okay. And um, my cousin gets in contact with her soon and we figure out where she is. Because it's really creepy. You got on a plane and you're nowhere to be found afterwards. That's creepy. My cousin called like the airline and confirmed that she did get on the plane. But oh my god, what if it's not even her? What if someone took her ID? I don't know what to think now. I hope my mom's okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. What an interesting turn of event of this video. Yeah, like she she doesn't know how to get on like a Wi-Fi. Like, okay, I named the home Wi-Fi like get off my land. And whenever like her phone connects to it, she's like, why doesn't the Wi-Fi like me? And like, you know, stuff like that. Like she's not very tech savvy and like she, ugh, I don't know. I, I hope she's going to be okay. I will be optimistic that she's okay, but I'm freaking myself out because I already didn't trust her going on this trip by herself. Not by herself, but like without me there <laughs> supervising her. And you know. It's her first time going on, like, oops. It's her, like, first time going on a plane out of the country. But via plane in 30 years. Like, she went to New York and everything by Greyhound, but, like, not airplane. And, like, I went with her to send her off. I, originally, I wasn't going to because, like, um, she said she was going to be fine. And then I had this gut feeling. I'm like, no, you're not going to be fine. So I went to the airport with her to see her off. And, oh, my God, breaking all the TSA rules and everything. <laughs> And like overweight stuff, it's just <laughs> she's only been gone a week, man. But yeah, it's just been very um. Yeah, she contacted me once when she landed. Not when she landed, when she got to Shanghai. Um. But I'm assuming she didn't know how to get on a Wi-Fi or she didn't get the chance to call me again and stuff like that so you know I just I, I trusted her and right now I'm just hoping that um I'm trying to contact a mutual friend of uh, my mom and one of her buddies that she went on the trip with. Uh, see if I can get their number and then we can go from there. But until then, like, there's not much I can do. So I'm trying to be op optimistic and not worry too much. But obviously, I'm pretty sure you can tell how like concerned I am. I told my mom, actually, 
take her SIM card out because I know for some reason she's gonna somehow, you know, turn off airplane mode and then she's gonna pay a lot of money for roaming. So I, to avoid that, I just told her, just take out your SIM card. And now I'm like, oh my god, why did I tell her that now I can't contact her in situations like this? So interesting how that worked out. Um, I, I really hope, my cousin and I are hoping that she just ended up following her friends back to their place or something. Um, maybe there was like a miscommunication with like she didn't know my cousin was picking her up or something. But I feel really bad. It's like 3, 4 a.m. over there right now. And like my cousin's still like waiting for her. And man, what a good guy. Like I know like my mom took care of him when like his parents didn't want him and stuff. So I feel like he's really, really loyal to my mom and everything. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Random stuff about my family. Um, But yeah, then she had to immigrate here and had to leave him there because technically she wasn't his legal guardian and he wasn't old enough to make those type of decisions for himself to come to Canada and stuff like that so it was kind of stuck there but it's really I'm really glad that they kept in contact because um it's nice that there's someone that appreciates my mom so much I feel like he appreciates my mom more than like I appreciate her I mean, he is a lot older than me. I think he's like 20 years older than me or something. My mom had me like really, really late. So a lot of my cousins are older. I do have a few cousins. I think like two or three of them's my age or younger. But uh, aside from that, like a lot of my cousins are pretty old, have kids, married and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying to get everything out. And then I can turn it off. Oh, but oh my god, the, yeah, so the Bruna has a lot of plates, and one of them is a takoyaki plate, and I definitely want to do a takoyaki mukbang. I love takoyaki, it's so good, it smells so good. But yeah, I definitely have to make a sacrifice of having a smelly takoyaki room <laughs> for a few days if uh, I want to commit to a video like that. So that might be like a good way to pace myself with the mukbang videos. Yeah, they're easy to make, they're fun to make, uh, but if a lot of you guys, if, a, if there's a portion of you guys that don't like it, then the fact that I don't want a smelly room should, you know, regulate the amount of like mukbang videos I have. So that'd be a good or bad thing. Like it might end up being like once every two weeks or something. Yeah. Trying to talk about other stuff so I don't have to think about whether or not my mom's missing or someone took her ID. Uh, it would be so fucking scary if someone stole my mom's like passport and ID and stuff. And my mom's actually stuck in Shanghai. Like I was so scared like she's gonna get scammed and like she's gonna get her organs like cut out of her and then get sold on the black market. I mean she's old but like she's still a woman like she could be sold as a sex slave still like. I'm genuinely worried. Like, I, I really hope, like, she contacts my cousin soon and everything, or I get a hold of someone that has a number that I can call. <laughs> the stress hair when I'm like this and like... <laughs> Be. 
my favorites, like, I used to hate tofu, and then, like, I ate, like, Korean tofu, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I loved it. on the wrong pipe and you're like <coughs> coughing <coughs> for like five minutes. <coughs> she got on the plane but is it really her This is the last of it. Some enoki, some noodles. And the last piece of tofu. Mmm! So good. Taste the soup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of flavor from everything. So good. I definitely need to drink a lot of water. So, thank you guys so much for watching this hot pot mukbang. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for future mukbang videos um, or maybe any solutions to, you know, covering my room or my clothes with like a certain type of plastic or something. I feel like I can just use any plastic, but I don't know if there's like a specific kind to prevent like smells getting into uh, the clothes or like if you guys know a camera that um, shoots really, really nice quality, 60 FPS. Um, and can film for a long period of time that may or may not be a camcorder then let me know and uh yeah i'm just glad to be back and um that's all my mom's okay uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you bye <laughs> that is not my my new outro gesture but i feel like it I, that's what i did uh, i don't know bye <laughs>